Namaste, dear friends. I am grateful to IMS TEDx team for giving me a harmonial platform to express myself as a woman entrepreneur and as a social entrepreneur. Most of the time, I came across to the one question people ask me: What is an entrepreneurship? How is your journey as an entrepreneurship? And my all-time favorite answer is. a journey of entrepreneurship is just like a riding a roller coaster one point of time you are on the top of the world and the time comes you feel low and slow and down i'm sure in childhood we all have enjoy the roller coaster rides but i have experienced during my entrepreneurship people often to see the success fame and money around entrepreneur but they forget to see that there is a lots of failure inside every success being a entrepreneur every day everything we put on risk we keep our self respect we keep our comfort we keep we invest our time and the most important we keep our heart and soul at risk being a country like a india where the family come first this challenges for the women become a multifold so why it is like that to explain that i'm sharing a few stories from my life in early beginning of my career when i have when i have just completed my graduation and i was dream to have a further education i heard a whisper around me i'm sure many of us also have heard that noise from the community and the society and i do get that word or the noise around the community ki you are looking a pretty good why you want to do the further study have got some guy got married who will take care of you fast forward going forward when i got married and after the birth of my second child when i was thinking to start my professional career again the same noise come and people started or the community started asking me you are from the wealthy family in our community women are not working as a mother your focus should be your kids and the most annoying question how you will manage both home and office the next story as a entrepreneur we all know we many of the things we come face first time in our career and first time in our business and we don't get a choice except to deal with it the same thing in the beginning of my business i face a huge challenge or the major breakdown of data theft my important critical data get stolen and i was feeling so helpless but friends we don't have a choice except to deal with it so though i am not the it expert though i am not the cyber expert me and my team has worked very hard till the time we have not filed the cyber complaint but friends what noise says oh you are a woman how can you deal with the police station work you are a woman can you able to understand the legal parameters properly and one person even asked me ki you know the full form of fir first information report going ahead a story number 4 once i have established myself as a successful entrepreneur and i was about to start my career as a social entrepreneur in my one of the important meeting with a very senior person in a department i was explaining about my project we are working on the menstrual health and hygiene and how it is very much beneficial to the society how we can control the waste management by doing this type of the work he listen me carefully and then politely he told me ma'am your project is good but i don't think so ki our audience will listen this topic in a large community it is very private topic and menstrual health is not a major issue in our society though the data say something else right and then he request me can you able to change your topic please now friends i just want to ask everyone is it any pattern in the stories is it my stories and your stories are having any similarity is it any common thread between all the stories unfortunately the answer is yes women in india are having a lack of self belief 
our ecosystems are designed in a such a way that inside love care affection safety protection the women are train in a way where they develop and promote the lack of self belief now tell me is it there is any way to come out from that is it any any thing how we will come out from all these things is it any way so yes friends there is a way ki how we will come out from that the one thing which i have done in my life and the same thing i am sharing with everyone is the acceptance acceptance from self to society friends i am repeating acceptance of self to society wherever you are whatever wherever you are whatever is with you whoever tells you anything it is not only you are facing this issue many of the people are having a similar situation so first of all accept it wherever you are and whatever you have and the second and the second step is that ki take a action maybe it's a small action take a one step which is at most important that one steps will give you a huge level of confidence so take that one step so acceptance and the ex- action two are the key tool to reach your dream to reach your belief to reach your success which i believe and which i have done in my entire life so friends i am a in my community people are considering me a one ordinary girl having a normal future but my achievement and my result say something else today i can proudly say that with my project called khushi ki udan we have reached to the people around 8 lakh peoples we have reached and giving awareness about the menstrual health and hygiene on 150 platform we have represent ourselves and educate people how to use the menstrual cup more than one this is menstrual cup how to use the menstrual cup more than 6.5 lakh cups till now i have sell in india and as well as in global and most important i have saved more than 2000 ton 2000 ton sanitary waste on mother earth i agree globally this number as per the global standards are just peanut still miles to go but the success is not always about the numbers it is about the impact influence we together have created in on the mother her so going forward my future is spreading a uh, love for a periods and save our mother earth together we can and we will thank you and jai hind